In this morning's Health Watch, it's the last installment of our Heart Score series. Today, we're taking a look at the five myths about heart disease. Now, it's the leading cause of death in this country. And joining us is cardiologist Dr. Nisa Goldberg, author of The Complete Guide to Women's Health. Dr. Goldberg, welcome. Good to have you here this Good morning. Good morning. Okay, um, these myths here. A lot of people think they know what they should know, but they really don't know a darn <laughs> thing. And that's why we're going to help Chris. them right now. More than 650,000 people die a year uh, from heart disease. One of the biggest misconceptions is myth number one. One. That vitamins prevent heart disease. And they don't, huh? No, they don't. Research studies show that you need to eat the vitamins and antioxidants in the foods. So think about eating an, a salad that's red, orange, green, or yellow, or put a half a cup of blueberries on your, on your cereal in the morning. Okay, myth number two is that female and male heart attacks look alike, but there are some differences between the two. Women's heart symptoms are, sim are, are more subtle when they're having a heart attack. You can have shortness of breath without any chest discomfort. You can have upper back pressure where you, it's not changed by movement or feel exhausted when you do minimal activity. And also the pressure can be lower in the chest so they easily mistake it as a stomach problem. Don't do that. Yeah, now we have this little model here of a heart. What exactly does, can you point out what happens when you do have a heart attack? Well, these are the arteries that supply your heart muscle. And when you have a heart attack, the blood supply is cut off so that the heart muscle dies. All the action is happening, happening inside the artery. And usually what causes a heart attack is a blood clot. The blood yeah. gets thick and plugs up the, plugs up the artery, just like your pipes get clogged. Got it. Now, if you are alone, besides calling 911 and you know you're having a heart attack, what should you do? You should chew an uncoated aspirin because you can prevent clots from forming in the arteries. That's a big right. Uh, myth number three, weight and cholesterol are a, a, a great harbinger of sign, a, a sign of things to come with your heart. If you've got bad the, numbers, then... Right, it's important, but they're not the only things you should be looking at. You should look at, you should get your blood pressure checked, a blood test for diabetes, get active, get off the couch, and quit smoking. Yeah, now I never heard of myth number four, that garlic can lower your bad cholesterol and because thus help you not have a heart attack. <laughs> it's a true myth, and all I can say about that is that garlic is a good alternative to salt for flavoring your foods. Really? Give you bad breath, it won't help you with a heart attack. <laughs> and finally, myth number five, that you can eat whatever you want with statins. Now, the, the misconception is taking that these, these cholesterol-lowering drugs gives you a free pass, but that's... Not exactly There's the no case. free pass, and I, I think a lot of my patients think that that's true, but I pick them up on the blood tests. If you have a steady diet of hamburgers, uh, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, or milkshakes, there's no match for a statin. You really need to do a combination of diet and exercise because, because cholesterol is not only what you eat, but also what you make in your body. You gotta be smart. You really have to be smart about your health. And, and, and the thing about the myths, if it sounds too good to be true, it's probably it not. It's probably not, <laughs> exactly. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Goldberg. You. We do appreciate it. For more on treating heart disease and our entire heart series, score series rather, go to our website, The Early Show, the address rather, theearlyshow.cbsnews.com.